Hello everyone. So this video is about if somebody asks you what is an authentication and what's authorization or what is the difference between both of them. So we'll start with the authentication. Basic definition is it is a process of verifying the user's identity. Now, what is an identity? If you're using Facebook, if you're using any Windows machine, Windows server, the user name that you're using, basically what you're doing is you are telling the machine that this is my identity, this is my username, this is the five or six letter string with which I am identified. Once the machine knows your identity, now it has to verify that claim because anybody can say, okay, I am X, Y, Z, this is my identity. But you need to prove your identity. And once you are proving this identity that you have, for which you have made the claim, this process is called authentication. Now, how would you prove your identity? There are three methods that you can use to prove your identity. You can tell the system something that you know, like a secret or a PIN or a password that nobody else knows. If this secret is open and anybody or if you have shared with anybody else, your identity has been compromised. Anybody who knows your password will use that password or the secret key or a pin and make the claim at any machine or any server and says that, okay, I am that particular user. Here is the password and he got gets to log in. Second, would be something you have. For example, you have a smart card, you have a token or anything else. The third would be something you are. For example, in some of the cases, if you're going into a building, there could be a facial recognition required. There could be thumb impressions required, some kind of biometrics like a retina, eye scan, these kind of things. So for authentication, you have to remember that there are three methods with which you can prove your claim that the claim that I have made for an identity, that this is my XYZ name, you can either tell them the password or you can give them a smart token or a smart card that this was like issued by a company to me and I have this password, uh, I have this smart card or something you have already, for example, in most of the offices, you go and you just punch in your thumb, like a biometric. So this is authentication. At this stage, only your authentication, that the claim that he made has been approved because he knows the secret key. Next comes the authorization. For example, let's take an example of when you enter a building. When you are entering a building, you tell the security guard that this is my card, this is my name, and I have this card issued by the company, and I want to go in. He will check the card, he will check your identity, and he will let you go inside. Now, the building has 15 stories. You try to go on the 13th story, where, let's say, upper level management is, and you are not allowed to go there and you enter into the lift, you press the 15th floor button and you reach there. But you won't be able to go inside, even though you are the employee of the same organization, but you are not allowed over there. You do not have the necessary privileges to be there. You will have your own office, let's say at floor 14 or floor 12 or wherever. You will have to go there. This is called authorization. Even if you are connected to a network, even if your system is connected to the uh, network, 
maybe you are unable to print maybe you won't be able to access any share folder that means your authentication is okay you are a valid user but you do not have the necessary privileges to let's take a print of out of the printing machine or maybe you cannot access a certain share folder this is where the authorization comes in who is allowed to do what most of the time the principle that is being used is the principle of least privileges provide the user the minimum privileges that are required for a user to do their tasks that's it how do they do the authorization that would be totally dependent on the architecture the way they have designed sometimes it's uh, role based sometimes it's discretionary for example in active directory they will be, you will find different groups it's an administrator group it's a user group it's some xyz group so that's how the authorization is being done but the authentication is where you have to prove your identity that i am the valid user authorization is even if you are the valid user do you have the necessary privileges to do xyz work that you want to do i hope this clarifies that uh, the difference between the authentication and authorization uh, don't forget to subscribe and like in the uh, video thank you so much